So for some of you, this person is your soulmate that you've, you're being inspired by, who's helping you. And for some of you, actually, the person you're having a difficult... Hi everyone, welcome to this Lightworkers Friday, where this is John reading. Uh, please only follow along if it resonates. I don't believe in forcing anything in life, particularly when it comes to things like this. So... Um, if you're watching on YouTube, I have my Instagram with tons of videos like this. So in the description box is my Instagram handle. Follow me for videos like this. First card I got is the difficult relationships in my life are the perfect mirror for me to look more closely at my own behavior. Wow, so powerful. And I feel like it's the holiday season, you know, we're going to have to deal with some family we might not get along with and stuff like that. Um, with the full, you are moving forward with something. Some of you might literally be moving or just energetically moving. But with Seven of Swords, Page of Pentacles and the Empress, you are not concerned with people anymore that you feel don't do well. So Two of Pentacles, I feel as though you are working a lot. Lots of work, lots of things in the air. You don't have the energy to deal with situations and people that bring you down. So with Ace of Wands, King of Cups and Ace of Swords, there is somebody in your vicinity who is kind of teaching you, you're learning from them, whether you're aware of it or not. But they're inspiring you to get rid of drama, to not be so focused on yourself, to really learn, grow and heal. And maybe that was one of the um relationships not necessarily that it's difficult like the oracle card said but it's just it's um having an influence and an impact on you to be different and approach things in a different way so the king of cups the justice and strength it's going to be a very trying time in your life oh queen of cups wow interesting so for some of you this person is your soulmate that you you're being inspired by who's helping you and for some of you, actually, the person you're having a difficult relationship with is your soulmate. And I don't mean toxic, I don't mean abusive. I mean, you're just going through some serious trials and tribulations as most impactful relationships um, do. It's normal. Yeah. But as, you know, the thing is, I feel like our generation, I'm a millennial, I feel like our generation, we don't really... We haven't been given the tools to learn how to work through relationships with. And I think that's very unfortunate because myself, you know, when I was growing up, I'm a child of divorce and how I used to deal with things, I would just like stop talking to people and just, you know, dismiss them, come from my point only. And through therapy, I learned to talk to people from both understanding, you know, not speaking definitives. Um, not just only have my approach but also hear what the other person is saying too and I feel like our generation because a lot of us come from divorce or even if we don't we often come from families where communication is not encouraged because oftentimes our parents will treat us like things are very black and white so we approach things like they're black and white which doesn't help relationships so just putting that out there six of pentacles the magician and two of cups so you want to build with this person you want a full-on relationship with them i can just tell and because you do it's kind of creating this energy of like oh uh what am i going to do what am i like you you don't necessarily understand fully what it would take to be in a relationship so i highly encourage you to get some um therapy if you feel like you need to know how to communicate because i see it a lot i saw it on myself too i was terrible at communicating to people um and like i said through therapy you know something that i learned also through therapy don't speak in definitive so when people when i come at people i'd be like you did this you know and it's taught me to ask questions, to hear both sides, and to not assume things, which I think has been very, very helpful because I see, so now I see other people doing it and I'm like, 
sometimes I still do it and I have to stop myself but I see a lot of other people doing it and I'm like you know just jump at people and lunge at them and expect them not to be defensive so it's queen of wands and five of cups this is a chance for you to not only let go but also to take the reins of your life and I think it would be beneficial if you did that through some form of either cognitive therapy cognitive behavioral therapy or just self-awareness i highly recommend seeing somebody else that can help you see things because i saw things about myself that i had no idea about um yeah so i wish you the best of luck i love you all take care